I said Jamaica always a keep and I don't know what is wrong with some of these tourists when them come to Jamaica and then come and have them nice time and the last day when them go home to the yard then decide to them go create problem and create havoc I'm not sure how much of you saw the video with the white lady in at the airport today at Montego Bay the way all the woman strip off her clothes and her guan and all the man try to calm her down. She decides to say, yo, she no want to calm down. But what I'm concerned about, what if she did really get a hold of the police gun and actually pull it off her waist? You can't imagine how different that would went today. You can't imagine the amount of people we would have get shot. All when time they handcuff the woman and put her down on the ground, it's like this woman decides, say, yo, a problem she a make today. Or probably she under the influence or something. I first me ever see them as seen thing ya. And I guarantee, say, if that did happen in the States, it would have went different. I don't know what is wrong with these people. God know me, I tell you no man. When you no come to Jamaica, you no come here and have a no nice time, you no just go on back home. You no go on back home, me tell you man and go back home in a peace and tap create them friggin' drama ya and them unnecessary things that in, in a call for. What's up fam? So three months ago, there was an issue in an airport in Montego Bay, Jamaica. So there was this white lady who had just finished her holiday in Jamaica. Probably she had a nice time in Jamaica because you all know Jamaica is a beautiful land for holiday makers. So she went um, to the airport um, to take her return flight to the U.S. And um, at the airport, something weird happened. And um, people are uh, saying that probably she was um, under the influence of a drug or she had a mental breakdown or rather mental illness because um, she just um, stripped off her clothes and um, started acting weird at the airport, shouting around and... Um, that called for the attention of the security officers or rather the law enforcers so they came wanted to take her arrest her but um she she was um in a way um refusing for her to be arrested and um at some point she wanted to reach for the gun and um it was risky she did that uh, i think twice or thrice i did not want to play the whole video right here because um of the YouTube um, partner issues and um, I, I do not want to go against um, the community guidelines with, uh, with such a video. So this lady tried reaching the gun twice, tried reaching um, for the arms twice and um, the Jamaican police were so so nice because they understood her situation and they were trying to handle her in the best way they can. So as she was trying to reach it, the police officers were trying to take her slowly and um, put on the um, arrest her and um, take her um, to a facility where she can be checked. And um, some people were acting weird, some were laughing, you know, there's a mix of everyone right there. It's an international airport, there are people who are leaving, people who are entering and um, it was just crazy scenes at the airport and uh, I was trying to ask myself what could be the problem is it a mental illness or is it um, that um, the lady um, was um, how do I put it in a, a drug or substance abuse because she acted in a way that um, nobody thought of she even removed her pants and um, she was totally naked from the waist going downwards and um, at some point a lady tried um, to reach out and give her clothes because she was um, totally naked. And um, I just wonder what could be wrong with our sister right here. But I'm so, so happy with how the Jamaican police handled this situation. They handled it with a lot of integrity. They handled her 
really nicely and ensured that she was taken without getting to hurt her because you can imagine what could have happened if she could have reached for the fire probably multiple people could have been killed or even the police officers it's an airport it's crowded people are leaving a lot of people she could easily fire the arm around and shoot a lot of people i i, I am so happy with the jamaican police because if that could have happened in another country it could have been crazy even to contain the lady they they really did a nice work and um this is just a message to everyone would say there be very vigilant as you travel because you do not know what people are going through some of us are having mental issues some are tired and just want to take all out their lives and they do not care about tomorrow so anytime we are on these public places we must ensure that we are safe because public places come with a lot a lot of issues sometimes so fam as i end this video i just want to commend the good work the jamaican police did right here because later i heard that the lady was taken to a facility to check her and see where, whether she was uh, mentally okay um, in the occurrence of this video and um, yeah that, that was a nice work done by the Jamaican police so guys let me know what you think about this video kindly do consider subscribing to my channel for amazing Africa diaspora stories we talk about Jamaica we talk about the US of A and any other country that has black people and I, as i end this video i want um, to say something that i have noticed most of these happenings are mostly happening in montego bay because i understand it's a nice holiday destination and um, this is one of the places that i must visit when i visit jamaica because yo there's something good about this place i've done my research about the hotels in montego bay i've done my research about the nice beach fronts and um yeah it's a place everyone wants to go to so guys um if you're planning to go to jamaica ensure that you treat jamaicans well ensure that um you show them love you know you're in their land many a times many people are condescending when they go to jamaica they want to go to jamaica and teach jamaicans how to live in their land not to access certain places you know all, all of those stuff are weird going to Jamaica treating um, people in service wrongly it could be a waiter in a hotel can you treat all these people with respect because ja Jamaicans don't take things man if you wrong them they get to you and um, they, they just um, um, respond quickly because they do not joke so if you wrong them be sure that they'll retaliate and you won't like it so um, this is just a call for black people in Africa who want to go to Jamaica, to go to Jamaica too. And um, just to wish um, all Jamaicans, just to thank you guys because you've been so, so nice to this channel and I do not take it for granted, guys. So thank you so, so much. And um, also to the Jamaicans, you can also visit the motherland and get to see what the motherland has to offer so guys thank you so so much for watching the video kindly subscribe to my channel comment and um, let me know what you think about the white lady who um, did that just like you've seen so guys thank you see you all in my next video goodbye for now